And we start with football, or at least reported foul play in the administration of the same in Kenya. Football Kenya Federation President Nick Mwendwa will be spending the weekend in the cells of Gigiri Police Station following his dramatic arrest this afternoon, which happened at the Milimani Law Court. The embattled football body boss vowed to stay put despite sports CS Amina Mohammed's move to dismiss the Federation's leadership and replace it with a caretaker committee. And he had spent quite some time in the afternoon at the DCI headquarters uh, where he was being grilled before he was taken to the Gigiri police station cells. And Setolale has been following that and will be giving us an update shortly but there has been some uh, back and forth in terms of the latest move by the government to intervene in terms of the questions around misappropriation of funds at the FKF with the uh, international body saying or threatening to actually ban Kenya. Now, this tug of war, just to give you some context as we wait on Seto Lale to come back online, the tug of war continues even amidst FKF President Nick Mwendwa's arrest following the government's disbandment of the Football Kenya Federation. The caretaker committee went right to work suspending football in the country and this as FIFA added its voice to the matter and as FK maintains its authority and Aida Waringa will be giving us that report shortly still as we try to get the very latest from uh, Setolale who's been following this development today and uh, Setolale he says earlier we spoke there wasn't a charge sheet to at least show what he's being charged with or held for but we know that he will be in custody for two nights and he will be produced in court Actually, that's three nights. He'll be produced in court on Monday. Setulale, you were at the DCI earlier, then you went to Gigiri, then now you're back at the DCI, not under arrest, but following on this story. What do we know? Well, at least we know that the embattled FKF President Nick Mwendwa, Mark, is currently at the Gigiri police station. We know that he's going to be detained over the weekend and police are expecting to arraign him on Monday where they will be seeking a miscellaneous application to hold him more even as they include they conclude investigations. Uh, according to Nick Mwendwa's lawyer who I was able to talk to earlier, Mr. Victor Omwabe, he said that he they haven't been served officially uh, with the legal charge sheet and they don't know he does not know what his client is being accused against, but according to insiders within the Serious Crimes Unit of the DC headquarters, they are, according to a source there who was privy to the grilling here at the DC headquarters, is that Nick was actually questioned in regards to accountability of funds availed by the Ministry of Sports to FKF between 2019 and 2021. And in regards to that, and following uh, his dramatic address earlier this morning, uh, in the afternoon rather, I was also able to talk to Mr. Ken Okaka, who is the Football Kenya Federation Communication Officer, and he did confirm that uh, officers from the DCI Special Crimes Unit pounced on Nick Mwendwa while he was presiding over a luncheon for the national team, Harambe Stars, which had just returned to the country from Uganda where it had uh, a qualifying, World Cup qualifying match against the host that was yesterday in Kampala and they brought Nick Mwendwa here at the DCI headquarters where he was questioned up to about three hours and he was later on accompanied by his uh, lawyer, that is Mr. Victor of why later on at around 6 30 nick mwendwa was whisked to the gigiri police station where he's currently being detained as like i said and we're expecting him to spend the weekend at the gigiri police station cells and there's um what uh, part of the investigations into fkf uh, bulk of it is in regards to accountability and mainly funds that were availed by the government through the Ministry of Sports. But uh, the Nick Mondra's lawyer, Mr. Victor Obwai, did say that they are going to give a 
a comprehensive interview in regards to that particular dramatic arrest and later on at a three-hour grilling here at the DCI headquarters and it is a story that we are following up and we will bring you in our later bulletins possibly tomorrow and even in the days to come, Mark.